and now I look like a backstreet boy. Today I am trying for the very first time the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer Hot Air Brush. And I think that's the full title, but there may be less or more words in there. So I actually wanted to get myself one of these a few months ago, but they didn't seem to be in stock anywhere in Dubai. Um, so instead, I bought myself one of these, which is the Fabulous Big Hair. I think it's like an air styler or hair styler or something. And it's essentially a brush that dries and heats at the same time. And this is fine. It's not the best thing that's ever happened to me. It's not the worst thing that's ever happened to me. But if you're nifty with a hair dryer and a blow drying brush, then I wouldn't really recommend using this. Um, if you're not, however, this will help. Um, if you struggle to, to brush and dry at the same time. So this actually belongs to my sister and I thought considering that she has it I may as well try it out before I decide if I want to buy it for myself. I'm just checking, why does it say Helen of Troy? What does that, what does that mean? Anyway, so I was gonna compare this with the Babless but I decided considering I'm not a massive fan of the Babless one. It gets me through. It's it's something I like to do if I want to spend a little bit of time on my hair rather than just whacking a blow dryer on it. So I didn't think it would be fair to the Revlon um, if I did. But I've seen quite a few people talking about this. Apparently it is fantastic for if you want a blow dry look at home without the expense, without having to go to a salon because in the current climate you can't. Um, and I keep seeing this all over Facebook, all over groups, all over Instagram, just pretty much everywhere. Even to the point that there's a lot of companies that are making fake ones of this. Now just as a little note, do not buy any electronics that are off brand just because they're a little bit cheaper or anything, that's just a recipe for disaster. You don't want to use anything electrical. Um, you don't want to plug anything in that hasn't got a reputable name attached to it because things explode, things set on fire, things do damage, things overheat. Don't do it. Pay a little bit extra and guarantee yourself some safety or at least some sewing material. Okay, time to plug this bad boy in. Okay, so that was the cold setting. Obviously you're not going to be able to hear me when I'm actually doing this. So I'm just going to undo my little towel turban. My hair should be like this. And I'm just going to brush it through with a wet brush. Now, because I wanted to give the blow dryer as much credit as possible, I didn't put any products in my hair, any leave-in or anything like that. Um, obviously, when you're doing it yourself, then you'll be using the products and, that you want and all that kind of stuff. So, I am also going to section my hair because although my hair isn't very thick, I do have a lot of it um, and I want to make my life easier and to give the hairstyler as much of an opportunity as possible to shine. So I'm just going to split down the middle and then I will 
also made the mistake of cutting myself some bangs. Not myself, okay. I had bangs cut in a few months ago and it looked great at the beginning. And now I look like a backstreet boy. Anyway, so just, I'm not being super adamant about the sectioning. I've just half down the middle and halved across. And I'm just using one of these clips. One of my biggest concerns when I'm blow drying my hair is that my youngest, newest hair closest to the root tends to be super curly. So when it comes to blow drying or straightening or whatever, I end up having like these little poofy little poodle bits. Poodle bits? Poofy poodle bits? That's gonna be my new catchphrase. Okay, I'm gonna pin this back too. I like to pretend that my bangs don't exist. Okay. I'm gonna start by, let's just go straight into the hottest, most powerful setting and see what happens. Now I've heard that the technique is to get as close to the root as possible and sort of brush. Let's see. My old lovers fall into my covers Where they sink one by one Yeah, I watch them disappear to nothing Disposable as chewing gum There are deal breakers where I come from My family don't suffer, fools glad they know needed a moment to just I don't want to say anything yet but I'm already seriously like loving it I in bed to feel awkward silences do we feel emptiness afterwards cuz I was so okay so this is the first side now the part that I'm seriously impressed about is like here you can see like the volume, can you see the volume? The fact that it's not just like gone straight down like that. And so far it's very, very easy to use. I'm getting excited. And maybe I just won't give this back. Okay. I'm gonna section this side. You can compare. See, this is the poofy poodle thing I was talking about. Um, I'm going to section this side and also another thing that I noticed is that it didn't get stuck at all, it didn't get stuck in my hair at all and if anything can get stuck in my hair it will. Um, the, I don't want to keep bringing up the babbleless thing but the babbleless thing gets stuck in my hair quite a lot. Um, even to the point that I ended up having like PTSD flashbacks of when I used my mum's roller brush when I was little and just rolled and rolled and rolled. And, oh, not a good time. Okay, so now I'm doing this side. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And it was so quick as well, that's the thing. Like, I would probably still be doing this side if it was just a brush and a hair dryer. Okay, let's do this side now. Okay, so this is the second side. I don't want to say it yet, but it's going very well. So let's continue and see where we end up. But honestly, I'm so excited. I can't even tell you. I don't know if this is just like 
because we've been locked inside for months and nothing really exciting is happening to me. But this is really exciting, mate. I don't even own this, this isn't even mine, and I'm excited about it. Okay, let's see. Feels good. Oh. Okay. 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 No saying I'm some genius. Let's get to it. So easy to use. So easy to use to the point that I was actually just taking as big chunks as I possibly could um, to use on the brush because I really wanted to put it through its paces. Um, so easy to use, didn't get stuck in my hair. There's absolutely no effort involved from you at all. Um, I'm not sure if I was 100% doing it right. Um, I don't think there's really a way to get it wrong, to be honest, um, because it's, it was just that easy. Um, I'm like, I'm trying to think of, of things I thought were wrong. Let me stand up and show you. Ooh. Let me stand up and trip on things. So I don't necessarily struggle with volume when it comes to my hair, like my hair operates on a very high volume, um, but if you are someone that does need a little bit of extra oomph, then this would be amazing because I can feel that there's been extra volume added. I really can't think of anything I didn't like about this. Um, when it comes to hair, my number one thing is that it has to be easy because I have a lot of hair and if something is going to take me a long time or a lot of effort, I'm not going to bother doing it. Really, I'm not. Um, I, I'm not someone that goes to the salon for a blow dry or for any other reason, to be honest. The fact that I can get the look without going is amazing. My hair feels nice. Um, it doesn't feel like it's been through a lot. It doesn't feel like it's had a lot of heat on it. It doesn't feel like it's been brushed a lot. I cannot stop touching it, in case you cannot tell. Um, honestly, there's really, really not much I can say other than I love it, and I think it's so worth the money. Um, you don't have to really know much about hair. You don't have to really know... Um, there's no kind of technique to it. It's not twizzly or fiddly or anything like that. I love it. I am a total skeptic when it comes to things that seem to go quite viral on the internet. So 
I don't always necessarily believe that everything is worth the hype that it gets, but this certainly is. So if you're thinking about treating yourself, definitely do. I would highly recommend this. I'm definitely going to steal this and I'm never going to return it ever again. This is mine now if you're watching.